The rise of BYD and China's new energy vehicles can actually be attributed to their competitor, Toyota. Why? Well, in March of this year, BYD sold over 200,000 units of its new energy vehicles, far surpassing other automakers. Among them, 103,419 were hybrid models, which shouldered half of BYD's success. However, what many people don't know is that over a decade ago, BYD was not even a prominent player in the hybrid market. Back then, when hybrid vehicles were mentioned, the first choice for everyone was Toyota from Japan. There was even a saying that circulated, there are two types of hybrid cars, one is Toyota, and the other is everything else. This is because Toyota's hybrid technology was globally leading, and they had applied for a large number of patent clusters, so as to restrict the development of other automakers. Toyota's employees once proudly stated, Toyota's hybrid technology is either impossible to imitate, or even if you develop a similar technology, you still have to pay me patent fees. Many European and American automakers chose to bypass their patents and seek breakthroughs, but the results were not satisfactory. At that time, Toyota's hybrid technology was like a legend. However, 10 years have passed, and the legend of hybrid cars from Japanese automakers has long faded away. Chinese automakers, led by BYD, have embarked on a vigorous overtaking battle. In order to hinder the rise of Chinese hybrid cars, Japanese automakers proactively opened up their hybrid patents and chose to cooperate with Chinese automakers, but they still could not stop Chinese automakers' determination to independently develop hybrid technology. In 2022, the sales of BYD's hybrid models in China reached 946,000 units, making it the undisputed hybrid champion in the Chinese market. In contrast, the combined sales of Toyota and Honda in China were not even comparable to BYD alone. Chinese automakers have successfully surpassed their counterparts in hybrid vehicles, which has amazed many people. So, how strong are Toyota's hybrid patents? Why were they able to restrict the development of European and American companies for so long? They voluntarily opened up their patents, so why did China still choose to independently develop hybrid technology? Since they have so many hybrid patents, how did BYD and others manage to achieve breakthroughs and surpass them? Today, let's talk about the great battle of hybrid technology. In 1997, Toyota introduced the world's first mass-produced hybrid vehicle, the Prius. In the same year, they also applied for a patent called planetary gear in regions such as Europe and America. These two things became the most important pillars for Toyota's dominance in the hybrid car market. The Prius sold over 5 million units in a span of 20 years, making it a miracle among hybrid vehicles. In the early 21st century, Toyota monopolized 80% of the global hybrid market. Why was Toyota so successful? The key factor was its monopoly over the planetary gear structure. Building on this technology, Toyota developed the Toyota Hybrid System and registered over 23,740 patented technologies through thousands of inventions. They were cunning in their patent applications, applying for clusters of patents rather than individual technologies. The concept of a patent cluster refers to combining a core patent with several auxiliary patents or even splitting a large technology into multiple applications, thus creating a substantial patent barrier. Generally, patents have a validity period of 20 years, aimed at protecting the inventor's interests while allowing room for development without monopolistic obstacles. However, Toyota, through cross-coverage of patent clusters and staggered application timelines, has significantly extended the effective patent life by several decades, severely impeding progress in hybrid technology for others. But Toyota's ambitions go beyond that. They not only aim to make money but also seek to monopolize the global hybrid market, which is why they don't sell this technology to others at all. For example, Volkswagen once attempted to purchase authorization for Toyota's hybrid technology but was firmly rejected. When Volkswagen proposed a licensing fee of 2 billion yen, a Toyota executive directly mocked them, saying, Volkswagen simply doesn't grasp the true value of Toyota's hybrid technology. The underlying message was that either they couldn't afford it or their offered price was simply insufficient. Volkswagen, being one of the top two global car manufacturers, 
couldn't even afford it. So, which car company could? The answer is none. As a result, other car manufacturers either desperately tried to bypass Toyota's technology or aimed to challenge Toyota's position in the hybrid field. And one extraordinary Chinese company managed to achieve this. Not only did it possess the capability to bypass Toyota's hybrid technology, but it also surpassed Toyota in the area where Toyota excelled the most, the power distribution of hybrid systems. This company is BYD. So, how did BYD accomplish what European and American car manufacturers couldn't? How were they able to develop such impressive technology? Well, the answer lies in direct confrontation. Toyota's hybrid route has two core aspects, an excellent engine for fuel efficiency and a planetary gear system, which also contributes to fuel savings. Toyota has perfected both, enabling them to be even more fuel efficient than other car manufacturers. BYD came up with another method to surpass Toyota, why not simply eliminate the need for fuel altogether? Wouldn't that be even more fuel efficient? So, they once again weakened the role of the engine and directly used two electric motors to drive the vehicle. If there wasn't enough power, they employed two electric motors to drive all four wheels simultaneously, transforming the original two-wheel drive into four-wheel drive. Wouldn't this solve the power issue? The engine is kept as a backup. In extreme cases where the battery is completely depleted, the engine can charge the battery. This way, there's no need for frequent switching between the engine and the motors, effectively resolving issues such as vibration and noise. We must admit that this approach is remarkably ingenious. It not only completely abandons Toyota's engine-centric approach but also discards Toyota's planetary gear concept, fundamentally altering the hybrid route. In 2014, BYD implemented this system in the Qin DM model, achieving a comprehensive power output of 217 kilowatts nearly twice that of the Toyota Prius. It even boasted an impressive acceleration of 5.9 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour. Moreover, when the battery is charged, it can operate without any fuel consumption, making it highly suitable for short-distance travel and appealing to owners who value performance. As expected, the annual sales of the BYD Qin DM quickly surpassed 60,000 units, astonishing the entire hybrid industry and even causing Toyota to feel uneasy. In 2015, a portion of Toyota's patents expired, allowing many European and American car manufacturers to utilize certain hybrid technologies. At the same time, a new path emerged in China, making it increasingly difficult for them to maintain their monopoly in the hybrid industry. They were forced to adjust their strategy and open up hybrid technology to global car manufacturers, while also reducing patent licensing fees. However, embarrassingly for Toyota, no car company was willing to cooperate with them. In this situation, both domestic and foreign car manufacturers tacitly ignored Toyota and chose to continue their own path, while BYD's myth continued to unfold. In 2020, BYD once again upgraded its third-generation DM system, but this time it was even more surprising. They simultaneously released two versions, the DMP system and the DMI system, which completely revolutionized Toyota's hybrid technology. This also meant that BYD had chosen to directly confront Toyota in the field of hybrid technology. However, this time BYD amazed everyone because they surpassed Toyota in the areas of engines, batteries, motors, and electronic controls. One of the most challenging aspects to surpass in Toyota's hybrid technology is the planetary gear system which relies on mechanical structures for power distribution and has been perfected. However, reaching the pinnacle in mechanical engineering does not mean it is unbeatable. For example, mechanical structures have limitations in perfectly adjusting power distribution under different road conditions, resulting in certain energy losses when power passes through the gear system. On the other hand, electronic control systems, precisely calculated by computers, can achieve power distribution in dozens of complex operating conditions, enabling the car to adapt to various road conditions and achieving more accurate power distribution. With the assistance of the DMP and DMI systems, BYD sold over 900,000 hybrid vehicles in 2022. Therefore, the BYD DMI system is considered the culmination of BYD's self-developed technology. 
this praise is not an exaggeration at all. It has been 20 years since their journey began in 2003, 20 years of effort, all leading to today's achievements truly an inspiring story. That's why I said BYD should express gratitude to Toyota. Without their barriers, there would be no BYD we see today. What do you think? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.